some of the more slow parts of the game, like here we're just picking up who goes first. I roll a five, the highest roller goes first, and it's not me, it's actually David. So shout out David, Anthony, and Michael, the CPU that we're going up against in this video. And um, yeah, if you don't really know the sort of, uh, I don't know, rules, I really don't even know the rules all that well either, but I know sort of the goal of the game is to obviously get monopolies, and a monopoly in this game is basically just when you acquire all of the same color card, um, and after that, you're able to build on the color cards, so say you own all of this here, like, uh, David just got here, sort of like the, the pinkish purplish uh, color spot, I could read the name, but it's actually kind of far away from where I'm <laughs> sitting and filling this, uh, or even this red spot, say they got all of the red pieces, red spots, and they could build houses, and then when you build houses, you can see the rent goes up by a lot. When uh, a player piece falls on these little spots, they have to pay that much money in rent. If you can't pay rent, you have to, well, find a way. You either mortgage your uh, properties, you pay them with the cash that you have, or you're bankrupt and you lose. Basically, if you have zero money and zero assets, you lose. If you have the most assets, the most money, you win just like real life. <laughs> so, hopefully you're sort of understanding if you haven't, if you do, uh, and already know the game, I will be being a little bit more quiet now, just letting us enjoy this. And again, I'm, I'm a, I, I do apologize if I sort of edit a little bit too much. I sort of just try to edit a little bit more of the slow paced parts of the game. So, obviously when we're all just running around, trades are available. I cut it when the auctions are going on, which do last a ridiculous amount of time because the CPUs love to take their time. I cut it, so I try to go a little bit quicker than, than usual. Oh, another double. Wow, double 12. David is on a roll. Wait, literally. And they're on the move again, which is, uh, oh no, they're not. They're just, like, they just got a, a $200. I think it was $200 community. A little, uh, little chest thing, which don't know community chess is just like a pick up a card uh, spot where you pick up a card and do what it says oh my goodness okay wow david is actually going kind of insane with these rolls picking up uh is that park place one of the most infamous spots in monopoly but your boy ends up sniping it for a pretty decent price now i have that and the what is that the other pink spot david has the other pink spot which is something i kind of want again nice. Oh, wait. Wait, yeah, this is the only unowned one. Oh, okay, okay. So, I end up picking up two of the three, and again, the meaning of this game is to get monopolies. So, I actually have one of the most valuable pieces on the board. I end up trading this away to give it to David for a monopoly, which, by the way, I get it. I understand. I'm playing the CPU. This would never, if you do this trade in real life, um, when you're playing with friends and a real person, uh, you need to rethink the, the rules of Monopoly because this is actually a really bad trade, but the CPU kind of plays the game like, oh, this is more valuable than that, so I should pick up the more valuable thing. I kind of use the CPU against them, and just like that, your boy Chick Baller has a Monopoly and a house is built. <sighs> it's good. It feels good. Um, <laughs> landed there on free space there. So, yeah, I got the first Monopoly on the board. I still have a decent amount of money, which is good. Anthony is definitely taking a sweet time to get around the board, but he did roll doubles there. Now, uh, in my opinion, the best possible thing you can do in Monopoly is to try to monopolize. Monopolize? Is that the word you say? <laughs> try to get Monopolies on one solid street. So right now, I would probably go 
get either the orange or the light blue one so I can try to monopolize either the whole street. Oh wow, there's a lot of doubles in this as well. Or uh, try to get a light blue. See, like, I don't understand why the CPU is just <laughs> constantly arcing off these these properties, but ended up going to, to Michael there, the battleship. So now he has red. The reds are very much spread out. And the CPU is, again, not the smartest. I should maybe try and play this game with other people or online. But again, I don't want this video to be like five hours long, which is kind of funny. Right there is one of the utilities, which the utilities, I think, don't really do a whole lot. I think they do something if you have houses built there. If I can remember, it can get kind of dicey in this game. All right, David, big boy David now with the big blue spot that I treated him, which it's kind of funny that he landed on the spot. I ended up just giving him it, but I think it's worth it getting the Monopoly. Now, if David gets the other spot, that's terrible. That's going to be really hard for us. Oh, it looks like David's trying to go after the railroads, which is actually a pretty good idea. Because he actually get a pretty high in price. If you can see that if you own four of the railroads, it's $200 every time you land on them. Which, by the way, $200 is a lot of money in this game. Obviously, when you pass go, you get $200. So, you definitely be careful. Is that one on? Yeah, okay. I am gonna buy this. And it's also probably gonna be used for trade leverage. Again, I really want those orange spots now, or the light blue, so Anthony might be a guy I have to talk to you kind of soon. See if he wants this yellow spot. Um, I don't really do a lot of trading in Monopoly when I'm playing in person or with real people. It's kind of something you have to really, really be uh, pretty persuasive, and I'm not a very good liar or persuasive person or hiding my face. I don't have a good poker face, so this game's kind of rough for me when I play with actual human beings. With the CPU, it's kind of easy when it just sort of goes off of value. We have Michael here who still has not been around the board yet. I don't think I have either. Oh, picking up the other railroad spot. I wonder if he's going to make a trade. I think the CPU can make trades, right? Let's see. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, and he's getting the red spot. Okay, so Michael now has two reds. So, wow. Okay, so the CPUs are actually kind of smart. They understand the value of, like, getting monopolies and trading, okay. I, I guess my trade for out-of-park place for my other pink spot was a pretty good idea. Ooh, and it was a pretty good idea because we got our first customer, our first little person with $50, okay. <laughs> Which, obviously, $50 is not a lot, but when you do build on this spot, it can get pretty dicey, especially late in the game. We have here a number six. Yeah, see, those railroads can really get you, obviously, they're kind of hard to land on, but when you do land on them again, if you own all four, it's $200, it's pretty, pretty insane. Anthony lands on, oh, is that income tax? No, it's one of the, the brown spots, not bad. Well, actually, that is pretty bad. <laughs> That's something you really don't even really want to spend a whole lot of money on, but he does pay for it, 60 bucks. Interesting. I mean, definitely one of the... I, I pretty much use those for, like, trade bait if I ever need to trade something with someone. Um, those and building on those is, is kind of a waste of time, not gonna lie. We have the number six, which is the other spot, which he's probably gonna auction it, isn't it? Or is he actually gonna pay for it? Okay, he does auction it, and he spends <laughs> $52 on a spot in the game is rent right now for one of my spots if you land on it, so that's actually kind of insane. Um, by the way, we are playing this on normal rules, so there is no um, uh, free parking. If you land on free parking, you don't get the money back, so I'm just letting people who know what that means, uh, you don't get it. I don't want to make this game last too, too long. Too, too long, too, too long. Right now, Michael is looking as well with the railroads and the blue spot I need to get past here and I land directly on go now by the way standard rules if you land on directly on go for some people who have their own rules I think it's doubled I think it's four hundred dollars if you land directly on go but we just have regular rules here now since I did just go on go I can build some houses because I get two hundred dollars for going past go but also it's only a hundred dollars on the spot to build a house so I have some some capital here I can use to spread around and now rent there is pretty expensive it's also a good time to build because Anthony and was that David or Michael is right there so they can actually land on 
place and I can see it the worth of this. So I spent 300 building. I got 200 for passing go and then I just got 150 for, for, for doing nothing for building on top of it, which is nice. Now let's see if I can get Michael to land on a spot as well. Oh darn, he's landing on right there. That's not a very good spot for me to try to get, to, to get there. Oh, he's going to auction it off. Okay. And then, okay, so Anthony, Anthony's looking like he is the, uh, he is a treasure chest of uh, properties. He has a little bit of everything. I still need to talk to him because I really want to get those orange pieces away from him. Or at least the light blues. I'll try to get either one. We have a seven going to the utilities. $28. Yeah, see, I don't really understand really the pricing of the utilities. Sometimes they're a little bit, well, a little bit wild. My turn now. Finally pass and go, I think, for the first time, which is pretty crazy. I feel like we've heard of him playing for, for a really long time, and it's a double six. Oh, this is unowned. Okay, I am going to... I think I'm going to buy this and then use it again as trade leverage for Anthony. I don't think I'm going to use it yet, though, because I kind of want to see where other people land. I'm not going to be too desperate with my trading, because if I trade him this blue... For one of the oranges, he's going to have a monopoly. And I really want to be careful because obviously the CPU isn't that dumb because they, they're making actually pretty smart trades. But I'll see what I can what I can do here. Oh, okay, so good thing I didn't trade him it because he could have built off of this monopoly. Wow, okay, so now I only have to spend $8 instead of however many if he started building on it, which is kind of scary. Um, which also, by the way, in normal monopoly rules, there are a set number of houses so if I give a Monopoly to a player, or another player just gets one, what card is that? Oh, okay, interesting. Um, then there's only a certain number of houses that can be built. Now, obviously those houses can come back when you build a hotel. But in my opinion, it's a great thing to have, sort of, again, a Monopoly on the, on the houses, which... Oh, dang, it just passed me without Railroad. Um, because if you own a majority of the houses, no one else can build can build houses, no one can build any uh, hotels. So it's a good thing to sort of stack up all of the houses as, as soon as possible with your monopolies, which I'm trying to get right now. Wow, this, this is a lot of sixes and a lot of doubles in this video. I'm actually kind of interested to see <laughs> where this is going. Um, I don't really think anyone is really down bad, bad yet. Obviously, David, if he gets a five or a five here, and gets that last blue spot, Okay, it's a seven. Okay, I was uh, kind of freaked myself out there. Landing on the four dollar mark. Dun dun dun. Four dollars. See, that's what I'm saying. This these spots are kind of useless. It's kind of sad. They need to make those a little bit more expensive in in the real game. Okay, I think there's one or two more orange spots is that I need to get, but I passed them going all the way to the free space, so that's not a good thing. Um. As you can see here, there's Anthony. And yeah, there is one more spot, number two, or, or roll for two. The very last orange spot is, this is something that I need. If I want to monopolize an entire street, I need to get a chance. Oh, okay, good job, I guess. <laughs> 150 bucks. Okay, and he's gonna start building on literally the worst pieces in the entire game, which that's actually pretty comical, I'm not gonna lie. Michael here is extremely close to getting Monopoly. I think that, yeah, that spot's not on the board yet. Oh, and he just passes it, I think. Darn, he was off by one to getting a Monopoly, thank goodness, because, yeah, that could have been really bad, because he definitely has enough money to start building as well. We have David here, who's Mr. Money right now, who's going to be landing on one of my pieces, right? Yes, wait, I was just joking, but he's actually going to. Another 150 bucks, thank you. That's gonna go right back to building more houses. I, I think it's actually like, at least if I can remember, like mathematically, one of the best spots and properties to own is that spot right there, the pinks, or the purples, whatever you wanna call them, I think they're pinks. Um, I think they're one of the most landed on spots in the entire game, that area right there, so it's a good idea to, to monopolize that if you're ever really playing Monopoly. Um, I accidentally paused right there, sorry. <laughs> Getting a five. is again a treasure chest of spots i think there's one more yellow piece that needs to be bought up and then that can also start by having a trading frenzy to get i wonder if anthony is just trying to get as 
much trade leverage as possible before he starts unloading everything. I'll have to see what he does. Okay, first person going to jail is Michael. If you don't know the game of Monopoly, there's a, a spot where you can go to jail and you stay in jail for, I think, three turns or you pay $50 or you roll doubles, which is just two of the same number. If you also don't know what doubles are, Seven, we're getting a chance card, and it is a, okay, not bad. It's a spot that I already own, thank God. Well, actually, kind of wish I would have been uh, someone else getting this card because I'm gonna start building again. <laughs> the rent is definitely going up and up and up again. I forget how cheap these houses are for these spots, but now, as you can see, the rent is what, what was that $500 if you land on it? So, <laughs> kind of a, a GG spot if you land on that which I think they probably should make that spot a little bit more expensive. I don't remember actually if the houses are more expensive on different properties. I'm assuming they are. Oh, is it they? Okay, they're gonna auction off this last green spot. Okay, $300 to, to, to Anthony again. Again, he's just a treasure chest. I'm gonna keep saying that. A treasure chest, a treasure, treasure, treasure chest full of goodies. Uh, he definitely doesn't have a lot of money either. So one of the major things that Anthony is doing wrong which you might think he's doing a good thing. Oh, he's getting a lot of spots. He's doing what you're supposed to be doing, buying all the properties. No, what you should be doing is, you know, no, not to toot my own horn, is what I did and build a monopoly as fast as you possibly can. Um, that's at least in my own opinion. Sure, if Anthony was smart, he should be leveraging off some of his spots that uh, others should want, like Michael in that red spot is what he definitely should be trading for. Maybe some money from Michael for that red spot or giving or making like an alliance with David if this was like a real life person because David's also not doing all that well. He definitely has nothing because Anthony has everything bought, so. <laughs> definitely looking kind of rough there. Let's see what I can do on this roll. A big time 11 gets me all the way to I think, yep, chance. And I'm on the move again. It looks like from the little Monopoly man. Yep, I am, okay. Uh, this bot's already owned, so I just paid like 100 bucks. It's not bad. Another 11. Oh, I paid $44. That's not bad. Oh, I had to roll, and the number I rolled is the, oh, okay, never mind. I thought I rolled an 11 to move, but I rolled an 11 for the price, and it was $44, which again is pretty, pretty nothing to me. I'm doing pretty good. Wow, 12s, double sixes. Good job, Anthony. Oh, never mind. Here if I land on something that would be 
it's uh <laughs> see even with a house this spot is only worth twenty dollars like again if if you ever find yourself playing monopoly please do not waste your time with these spots back here it's it's pretty bad um i ended up just um staying in jail because i feel like i'm doing a pretty good job with how i'm managing my my properties and stuff so i'm just gonna stay in jail which is a strategy, by the way, if you don't know, just sometimes being in jail is, is the best thing you can possibly do for yourself. And I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm playing the waiting game to see how the game plays out. Oh, okay, well, Anthony is now joining us in jail because he got the go to jail card, which is a very infamous card in Monopoly. And you have Michael paying the, the 50 bucks to get out. expensive property five yep that's gg you have to oh man 300 i don't know why i said gg but uh 500 is is a, is a ridiculous amount that is crazy now see if david can land on one too come on david eight that's yeah yes 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 ladies and gentlemen it's all coming together i told you guys you gotta build monopolies as fast as you can i got really lucky getting these ones have here we just got nine hundred dollars in a span of two moves that is insane well i'm gonna get out now and i'm gonna start rolling i'm gonna start trading i'm gonna start trying to figure out what to do with all this money i'm definitely gonna build i think one more house oh and i got the last orange now so okay let me buy this and then let me build here build up all the houses i'm not gonna turn them into hotels just in case someone wants to start building houses i want to i want to keep a monopoly over the houses because i think there's only a set number and i think i have a pretty good chunk of them um yeah now if you land on these spots it's 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 almost <laughs> all gone come on anthony do you want to take a ride on the uh, the expensive train come on roll a three or a four come on come on oh my god you rolled a five you lucky Five instead to Michael makes a trade. Oh, he makes a trade with me, but he wants my orange. No, I want your orange, buddy. I don't want your yellow. I want your orange, buddy. <laughs> I might have to, now that I know that, that Anthony is willing to trade, I might have to try and make that trade now for the orange. He might be getting kind of desperate for cash, too. I might just give him cash straight up. We'll have to see. Michael ends up landing on one of his orange spots. Oh yeah, look at the rent if you start building on the oranges. That is insane money. And I can have a monopoly on this entire street, which will be very, very, very nice. Again, street or corner. That's what you want to do. You want to get a street or an entire corner. Oh, but David gets the last orange spot, which I'm not going to lie. I totally forgot that that wasn't on the board yet. Dang, that kind of ruins my idea of trading. I mean, I, I guess I could still trade with both of them because I have a lot of money. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what I do here. Um, I end up getting a seven, which is a spot that Anthony owns. So you can take this 18 bucks, dude. But, 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 let's make the trade. Okay, I'm going to trade him the yellow and some money for that orange. It's a hundred dollar, a hundred one dollar difference. Does he end up taking it? Come on, CPU, be stupid for me. Yeah. <laughs> Again, just the CPU being dumb. And then I also do a trade to get the other one. So I give up some cash and some capital. And uh, your boy got two monopolies on the same street, which again, this does not, this does not, this does not, this does not usually happen in the game of Monopoly. If you play in person, it, I would hope that this wouldn't happen. scary um and now for some reason anthony built a house there for some particular reason i'm not sure and he only has 29 dollars now so uh shout out to the cpu for being very weird he does get lucky though and lands on a property that he, t that he already owns maybe he's betting on he can get to go before anything too bad happens to him 
is here. And he's probably going to try to make his way over to go as fast as possible. Let's see if he lands on anything kind of scary. That's a six, which... Ooh, he actually has a mortgage. Dang. Yeah, so as you saw there, he did not have enough money to pay. So he has to mortgage off $100 worth of stuff to give to David. So again, if you don't really understand the game of Monopoly, if you can't pay for something, you have to sell off your properties, which, well, not sell off, you mortgage them, which basically means if a player lands on that property now, they do not have to pay rent. It's a free space. And man, these, these I told y'all, these railroads can be very scary. They can be super duper annoying to have to get around. So getting those railroads were actually pretty smart. Let's see, a, a three or a four? No way. Oh, okay, nine. Which, again, is a spot for me, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Eighty bucks, I'll take it. I'll take a hundred bucks, almost a hundred dollars. That's another, that's another house payment for me if I want to start building more, which is nice. I need to get to go so I can start building a lot more. That'll help. An eight. Um, that's a David spot. Oh, no. Dude, that's three... That's all three of us on one space. How ridiculously lucky is that? Or unlucky, I guess. <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, that's the other tax spot, which is only a hundred. Which, wow, Anthony is looking pretty dumb for trying to buy one of every color, which I think Anthony forgot the rules of this game. You have to get one of every, well, you have to get every of one color, not all of one color. <laughs> Oh wait, did I say that right? You want every single color of one, but you don't want one of every single color. Yeah, okay, that was right. Anyways, we have David here, who squeaked by my big time uh, money, money guys, the, the pink spots. Oh, oh wow, I actually didn't know that this last yellow spot wasn't available, and it's going up for auction. Oh, please don't. Okay, well that's kind of annoying. I <laughs> I only wanted to drive up the price a little bit. I didn't want to actually buy it. Oh my god. I did not want to do that, guys. I'm kind of stupid. Dang it. <laughs> I kind of wanted just to, to, to auction up the market a little bit. Um, we land way over here on this other light blue spot, which again is only $6 if we land on it. So again, I kind of just want to do something here and just get some cash. So I sell off one of my yellows for cash, which is a good idea. So in fact, I did just get $200 from Go and another 250 for uh, selling that off, which by the way, that's kind of how much I paid for that yellow spot. So I kind of just did nothing. I kind of just passed Go and got $200. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so that's a, that's a good one for, for Anthony. So now Anthony has some pretty good amount of cash now. Is he going to do anything with it? No, he's not. Okay. It's not. <laughs> Alright, now it's getting to my corner of my street right here. A 12, that's nothing in for me, is it? Oh, it's one of my houses, but it's still only $70. Dang it, I should have started building on these orange spots here. Definitely would have been a nice little, uh, little chunk of change. Would have landed there on me.